Hey guys, just finished watching uh, Gifted, Season 1, Episode 3, Exodus. Um, wow, what an episode. This was really cool, dealing with all kinds of stuff with, you know, with Reed Strucker, dealing with, you know, he's going about to give out uh, the Mutant Underground and all that stuff, and then chart deciding not to at the last minute, or almost last minute, but pretty cool and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I thought the trailers had hinted at he was just going to let it go all the way till really close and stuff and I think it was really cool how they made him feel and stuff like that for the different mutant for this mutant daughter and mother and stuff like that um and all kinds of different stuff that we got the backstory Polaris and, and uh Thunderbird and stuff um that would be that was pretty cool seeing that uh, and seeing her kind of use her powers on the door and then you know and all that stuff even though through the electricity from her collar um although the color is making electricity, so I'm assuming there's metal in it. If I was her, I would just, and you can keep going. It doesn't turn off your powers. It just shocks you, sends, shocks you a, a ton while you're using your powers. So I would just, if I was her, I would use all my powers on the necklace, rip it off, and then once you have it off, you can then just rip doors down and use doors, use that, rip that solid metal door and everything in that room, put into one big ball and just make yourself a, a you know, a just weapon thing that just kind of go around, kind of like that scene from X Men Two with, um, I think it was X Men Two with uh, Magneto when he finally leaves uh, that plastic prison and he uses all the, the, you know, the iron and stuff from the guy's blood and stuff like that. That would have been a really cool idea, something like that. Um, she could just use that, so that's the way I would do it. Hopefully, she'll do that. Maybe in the fourth, in the next episode. I haven't seen the trailers yet for the uh, for the episodes, um, but it's definitely going to be fun to see what where that where whatever happens in that goes. Uh, and it really is cool with this. I really like this. All the different things, seeing the different, um, you know, seeing seeing Kate Strucker. Uh, is it Kate Strucker? Yeah, Kate Strucker going over to uh, her brother, her brother, or is it her brother-in-law? I think it's her brother. Um, and asking you know for for him to help and him not wanting to help and then him helping it little bit at the end and stuff, uh, which is in- interesting that you know that he's helping now and not helping later and stuff and is, you know the Sentinel Service is going to be alerted to that like is that going to pop up on their radar like oh he wasn't willing to help before all of a sudden now he's looking into this why is he looking into that type of thing uh, I think that's going to be cool to see how that plays out plays out and stuff it's going to be quite fun to see where this goes um, and it was also cool seeing. Um, was a dreamer and stuff that she was pretty interesting i recognized her a little bit i thought i recognized the actress she actually played mira on smallville and stuff so that was pretty cool uh having that and uh, yeah so it's just pretty cool to look and wait to see more of these other mutants there were some pretty cool mutants with like black and like some sort of crackness on, on him and stuff that we see if like a flashback would be cool to see um different mutant powers if we ever do get a, an episode which they have to have an episode maybe before last episode or something where um I'm not sure how many episodes this show is supposed to get for this season. Um, I think about six. It says here on INDB. Um, but I think it would be cool uh, if we get some sort of an episode where the, the you know the Sentinel services do take out the entire do end up at the home base of the entire mutant underground and stuff like that, and then see how seeing all kinds of different characters and seeing like a you know Civil War type scene where like everyone Civil War airplane type scene with a little bit more powers and things going around and stuff. That's pretty cool because that's one thing with this X Men show has going for itself compared to even like the movies. There's just so much more color going a little bit in this with powers wise. I mean, you have Polaris, her 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 powers do do one thing. Dreamer, her powers does another color. Then you have uh, Eclipse, his power is one color, another color. Whereas in even in the Marvel movies, the only people who have powers to shoot out thing is Vision, which is is just a straight beam. It's not really colorful. And you have Wanda, who has a little bit of color. So these guys just a little bit more cool. So when you have those comic book spread pages. Um, you know spread panel type thing full page spread uh scenes in the show it looks a little bit more colorful and i think i like that i love the way they do it and the relationships the way they do that how you know they're setting up a relationship in here with someone who had an implanted fake relationship like it's just so good this this show it's just ah oh, i just can't i just love it it's great such a great show uh, and i definitely recommend it to anyone who's you know an x-men fan marvel fan anything it's just a great show and uh there's no like uh, you know cheesy relationships or anything like that everything just feels perfect and everything feels uh natural and they go right into things it's just can't wait definitely just it's, ah can't get enough of this it's just so good um so yeah it was definitely really cool definitely can't wait to see where things go with this um 
and hopefully I'd like to see them kind of do stuff a little bit more. I mean, things kind of happened in this episode, um, but the, you know, it, they didn't, I, They've been talking about it a few times now, a few episodes now, about going in and trying to get Polaris and breaking into prison to get Polaris out of prison. They gotta do it now. If they don't do it in episode in episode four, they've just been talking about it and talking and talking and talking, and it seems like things keep stopping them from from actually doing it. You know, and they're just sitting around talking. And if you know, if um, Kate Trucker hadn't ran out in this episode, then what if, would they have just sat around talking about it the whole episode and never done anything? I mean. You know, last episode you had Blink doing her things, which was interesting and stuff like that. But it's just, it was, it's not going anywhere with with that. So it is fun, it is great, thrilling, and you know we are learning so much more about stuff and and things like that, especially with the 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 Reed Strucker and stuff like that, and him trying to actually so close to kind of giving them out and stuff, and 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 giving up the uh, uh, and turning on the 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 mutant underground stuff, but. Um, I don't know, just next episode, they better try and get, you know, get Polaris out and then, but you know, also find out where Reed is and do things because the plot needs to start moving on now, you know. I did, if it's only had six episodes, then it's just like what, you know, you're just waiting for the one very short story and you need to have it's you know, going on. So I don't know, I just, things need to just ramp up in the next episode uh, and they actually need to go and attempt to get someone out to, you know, now that Blink has this thing, you know, this, this, um, this emotion and stuff it would be interesting now that she knows she can do it it'd be interesting to see her um see how things would work with with her and stuff i don't know so it'd be cool to see how they deal with um how thunderbird deals with the fact that blink is now um is is now uh is now, is now affected has this now emotion that she didn't have and stuff this memory that she didn't have uh so i think it'd be cool to see how that works out um does dreamer have a way to, like she's named dreamer here on on the imdb does she have a way of taking that back i feel like she would have done it after the fact if she need if she did uh or does someone have a way of you know taking that away or is it going to wear off or whatever or something like that or they're just going to tell her it was fake i put it in there for that one to get you to do that you know it's proof that you can do it when you need to you know now you know how to do it that memory is fake even though I, I put it into you i don't know how would that work when if they told her that so i don't know this is definitely going to be cool to see where things go with this uh but like i said hopefully they just got to go and get her out of prison get polaris out of prison um you know because they just sit around talking about it if they don't and things just happen but it's not you know not doing anything with it so yeah it's definitely is fun definitely can't wait to see where things go really excited for this show definitely recommend it at this point so yeah let me know what you think guys about this episode in the comments below and uh what do you think is going to happen in the next week's episode and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out i'm captain america here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have subscribing sometimes subscribing is the key to victory sometimes it leads to very little and it seems like it's not worth it and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing how many more of these you're still here don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys peace it's over